The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The webinar will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Please go ahead. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm Nikhil Boob from Walchan College of Engineering, a senior undergraduate student uh, studying in final year of Computer Science and Engineering program. I take this opportunity to present you the uh, SciTech Social IT Awareness Campaign, the, an initiative by Computer Science and Engineering students of Walchan College of Engineering in Sangli, Maharashtra, for nearby unprivileged school children. First of all, I will take you through the journey of this webinar. 
I can go to full screen, Nikhil. Okay. First of all, I will present you through the uh, go through you the journey for this webinar. Uh, uh, the nearing information will be from, from presenters about Walchand College of Engineering Sangli and about uh, Association of Computer Science Engineering Students. Then we will go through the initial routes for uh, initiating the activity SciTech need for social awareness, activities done through SciTech program, effect of those activities, future scope for this program, media, uh, publicity, photographs and acknowledgement for the same. Uh, speaking about authors, my, myself and Nikhil Boob, uh, uh, as I have told you, a senior undergraduate student uh, at, from Computer Science and Engineering Department and also a member from ACCESS, that is Association of Computer Science Engineering Students. Uh, I have my, uh, here with me Professor Anil Surve uh, at Computer Science and Engineering Department. He is also serving as a staff advisor at ACCESS, that is uh, Association of Computer Science Engineering Students at Walchand College, Departmental Club for CSE. About Walchand College of Engineering Sangli. Walchand College of Engineering Sangli is one of the oldest and renowned institute in Maharashtra, which is established in 1947 and uh, became autonomous since 2007. College has wide tranquil campus of 90 acres and it imparts quality programs in diploma, degree, postgraduate and post-diploma courses in engineering. Walchand College of Engineering Sangli is also an IUC consortium college. Speaking more about Walchand College of Engineering Sangli, uh, the autonomous status has been awarded to the college by the government of Maharashtra and UGC in the year 2007. Uh, the college participated in the World Bank funded Government of India scheme uh, called TechCube, that is Tec Technical Education Quality Improvement Program, Phase 1 project, and uh, we received second rank all over India out of 127 national institutes in its program, uh, Impact Assessment Survey in 2010. The institute has also recently restructured its laboratories, bringing in the modern and event-grade equipment for helping students become technical virtues and accomplishing substantial milestones. Faculty, staff and students strive for the goals of making our institute deliver to the country a brilliant and talented gen generation of engineers every year. The faculty members of our institutes are research oriented, thereby promoting our students to favor such paths too. R&D is right now the prime of any industry and we support our students to be involved in such activities. Access, Association of Computer Science and Engineering Students, which is driven by students of, to exercise professional, technical, managerial and social skills. Access uh, has a board of student members with different roles and responsibilities like president, vice president, secretary, web developer, uh, activity developer, uh, etc. SciTech is an initiative by Access, which is started in 2006. Now we will go through the routes for this activity. SciTech was initially an event uh, for unprivileged school children to help them with uh, learning uh, new technologies and uh, with uh, introducing them with the laptops and uh, personal computers, which became an initiative from 2006. Uh, SciTech has its roots in 2006, which when uh, the students from Walchand College took efforts for school children to help them aware regarding computer awareness, it make them uh, interest in uh, encouragement and motivation for exploring the opportunities in IT field. As we all of us know, 
IT and technology plays a dominant role for societal transformation if one wants to envision and import India. Taking this into consideration, Access started social IT literacy campaign. In this present digital era, the development in various aspects of computer technology has reached beyond our imagination and expectations. The application of computers in various sectors of daily life has become inevitable to one extent to other. Therefore, for any country to develop and walk hand in hand with the developing countries, it is imperative that at least basic computer education to be imported. Currently, initiatives like MSCIT and others are proving to be efficient in educating youth. But the computer literacy at primary and secondary schools, especially in rural areas, stays minimal. Hence, for any country to develop, it is necessary for the, that the population at even ground level must be educated. Hence, various efforts are put up by the government as well as non-governmental agencies and voluntary organizations as well as in this direction. In this webinar, we discuss a model wherein a group of undergraduate students of Valjan College of Engineering, Sangli, under the Association of Computer Science and Engineering Students, put up efforts in this direction through SciTech and visit various rural and village schools and take weekly sessions regarding computer awareness. SciTech is powered by Access, which is indirectly powered by Walchen College of Engineering, Sangli. The need for social IT awareness campaign. We have the main question in our uh, in front of us. Like when you look back 25 years from now, how have the nation school have changed? The big question is: Has it reached to the roots of the society? Aren't there unprivileged school children who only dream to learn? We here present a comparison uh, in today's schools and uh, the schools 25 years back. 1950 to 1990s and 2000 onwards era. We can see various things are replaced by new and smart Chalkboard is replaced by screen now replaced by the internet and on demand emails. The list goes on. Therefore, the asset attack comes into existence. Now the uh, implementation of this activity. Uh, we first prepare the action plan for preparing the social IT awareness uh, weekly sessions in schools. Uh, the event layout is made uh, by our activity manager, uh, which con consists of schedule, list of activities to be uh, taken at school level, budget for those activities, awareness material preparation, interest meeting with school authorities for taking the sessions. We take sessions for students as well as for teachers at schools, quiz and feedback from students and teachers and closure. Students working in groups divide themselves and visit schools on suitable decks, uh, acquiring the uh, permission from headmasters from different schools. The schools include primary schools, secondary schools, night schools, girls, Schools, schools of HIV students, etc., in the vicinity of Sangli, Miraj, and Kupwad area in southern Maharashtra. The volunteers from Valjan College carry own laptops, CDs, DVDs, projectors, speakers for demonstration and activities. The activities that is SciTech program in 2013 and 14 included Akash tablets for school children. Sessions. The different sessions covered in SciTech activity are demonstration and introduction to computer fundamentals and devices, use of internet, emails, searching on Google, etc., 
use of basic utilities in computer like Word, Excel, Pen, PowerPoint for daily usage. Career guidance that is opportunities for students after 12th and 12th in IT industry. Interactive quizzes for students and feedback session. Computer fundamentals. This includes basic basics of hardware and software of computer along with the information regarding mobile devices and robots. Use of internet. As we all know, nowadays internet is one of the basic needs of human. In this we include information about basics of internet, server, client, how to use internet, email, search engine, etc. Also in some schools, web languages are taught. Career guidance. In this we cover information about various options available after 12th and 12th to make bright future in various fields of IT. And the end sessions like interactive quizzes for students. Quizzes are arranged for students which include basic knowledge of sessions covered and information regarding computer basics and its use. Feedback, feedback is taken from both students as well as teachers for, of the schools in order to improvise the performance for further sessions. We can see the progress that is number of schools reached during campaign. The activity started in 2006 and today that is 2014 and 15. In 2006 we were able to reach only 10 to 12 schools. Uh, the graph shows the increasing path for this activity. In 2007, 2008, 2009 and now 2014 we have reached up to 30, 30 to 35 schools. We here present a graph at uh, in year 2014 campaign that is number of students reach in different schools in 2014 campaign. We can see the names of different schools at x axis and the number of students at y axis. The number of students in a particular school vary from 40 to 4, 400. That is these many students involved in social IT awareness campaign at those particular dates and sessions. As we can see, the schools are differing from Kanya Prashala to Zilla Parishad schools in the vicinity of Sangli and Mirats. Effect. We can see the different activities performed at school level by this program. I would like to share some of the photographs uh, from the SciTech event from 2006 to two th uh, now onwards. We can see the number of students uh, involved in this uh, different sessions. Some of the news news captured in uh, newspaper, daily newspapers in Sangli and Miras districts.
I would like now I would like to invite Professor Anil Survey, Staff Advisor Access, to be involved in this webinar. Hello. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, as you have seen, uh, as Nikhil has shown you some of the glimpses and in various information about the CTEC activity, I would like to tell you some say more insights about the students' involvement, our students' involvements into this activity. I remember in 2006, Mayank Biani and Girish Kulkarni, uh, that time Access uh, Secretary and President came to me. And they said that we should do something for the sake of students. And uh, in 2006, we, uh, I mean, these students, this is actually a complete activity driven by the students for the sake of students. So uh, access took place. And uh, uh, the way the, uh, the feedback came from these students, Girish, Mank, and their team, uh, it was very, say, heart touching. They said that uh, when they had been to the schools and they, when they're demonstrating, that time the children. Uh, came and uh, uh, came to them and they uh, tried they were trying to touch the laptop it means that these students were not uh, knowing even the laptops and uh, we are from say Sangli and the schools had been very close to Sangli say right say two kilometers away from this so this uh, act this activity uh, this kind of responses um, uh, we we taken very seriously and we came to know that there is there is very dearth of uh, giving more knowledge about the IT and computer information for the school children and then we uh, from event we made it as an initiative we take we took it very seriously and we frame it and we tried to cover it to as as many uh, school children as possible our main motto was to um, reach to the unprivileged schools so uh, I'm happy to inform you that since 2006, as you as you've seen the uh, from the graph, that we have reached up to uh, up till now almost 9,000 childrens we have covered up till now. So this being very good initiative from my own students, I'm very much happy and proud of my students for you know organizing this kind of activity. Uh, in the future, as far as uh, after every activity we uh, take feedback we retrospect on that and uh, every time we try to add something more to that so in the future we're looking to cover more areas uh, more district we, we want to cover so right now we are covered almost the, our entire district and now we'll be reaching out in the next next year we'll be reaching out our nearby district also and then uh, in future we are tr uh, trying to uh, held year one session called as train the teachers so we'll be calling the uh, school teachers over here we'll be trying to cover say almost most of the teachers from our south Maharashtra at our college and we'll train them what we're actually training to uh, in the school in the CETAC program so the main idea is to cover as many unprivileged school students and uh, give more awareness about the information technology and um, this and the other motives behind this is to bring the younger generation the the kids more uh, career oriented they should know the computer automation and they should contribute more into the uh, development of the country so now um, i'm actually thankful to sridhar then uh, Dr. Vedula for uh, giving us this opportunity and I'm happy uh, to inform you that uh, we're getting sponsorship from our own alumnus uh, association that is we called as APS Association of Pastors of Walton College of Engineering Sangli and uh, we're doing this activity so we will be uh, I hope we'll be uh, doing better in features and uh, the main say focus of this webinar uh, as Nikhil has approached um, Sridhar and wanted to give webinar is to take it as an example for other colleges, other engineering say students to take such activities and reach to the unprivileged society, our own future that is the students and try to contribute more and bring glory to our nation. Now I'll hand over to Nikhil. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us.
I would like to also tell that uh, this uh, there the, this case study of computer awareness campaign in primary and secondary schools have also been presented in the second international conference of transforming engineers engineering education ICT IEEE at Bangalore. Now, now I would like to invite uh, the questions from the attendees and audience, if any, in this regard. Now I would like to invite the questions uh, for this SciTech webinar, if any, by the audience and attendees. Me and uh, Professor Survey will be online for a few minutes for answering the questions. Hi, Nikhil. Hello. Yeah, one of the attendees would like to know the budget and expenditure for this activity. Uh, yeah, Hello. sure. Uh, can you please unmute uh, Professor Surya? Yeah, he's, uh, he's unmuted. Okay. 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 Uh, the thing is that uh, it doesn't cost much. Uh, actually, our students are going to the schools which are nearby to our place uh, within the vicinity of say 50 kilometers away from the college itself and these students are um, I mean my students volunteers are going through any vehicle I mean say buses or their own vehicles and uh, there isn't any cost much for uh, you know delivering something else this is they just go over there then uh, the transportation is the only cost so almost for one program uh, it costs around uh, 5,000 rupees only so 40 volunteers uh, visit various schools um, uh, uh, using their transport uh, transportation and uh, that doesn't I mean uh, the point here is that it doesn't take much uh, you know, uh, budget for doing this activity so around say one program takes almost 5,000 rupees only. Thank you sir thank you for answering the question. We'll just remain online for like one or two minutes just in case there are questions and then we can close. Sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. How will this model be sustained in the future? Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, sustainability, uh, sustainability is that uh, every time the access board member is, you know, having number of volunteers which will be coming over there, and this will roll on. Means every every time students will come, volunteers will take this activity. They will add content into it according to the latest developments, 
they'll find out new schools. I mean, and, and in every school, the children are also changing, say, say from fifth to six and onwards. So this will be, there's a difficulty in uh, sustainability. As far as the budget is concerned, it's very less. And the only motivation is required for, say, my students to do this activity, and they're totally motivated. I'm happy on this. And then, and uh, in future, we'll, we'll, we'll be taking help from other colleges through, you know, this, this is one platform. We are, say, uh, expanding um, our thoughts and initiative for uh, all other people. So this way, it will spread. And uh, sustainability isn't a problem. So we'll, we'll be doing uh, much better things in future also. Uh, I would like to add uh, to the Professor Anand Suve's point that in this case we care about the need for the society. That is, uh, there are there are many unprivileged uh, ch school children who don't only uh, who don't know anything about laptops, computers, or even IT industry. So we would like to make them aware regarding uh, the uh, the things that are being uh, progressing and advancing in IT industry. Uh, therefore, this attack activity has been carried out. How many program? How many students are covered in one program? So almost uh, one thousand students you can pick. So so the graph indicates uh, the previous one, Nikhil. Previous. Yes. Yeah. Almost say uh, one thousand students are covered in one program. So in, in in recent few years. So if you look at for nine years, so almost we have covered uh, eight thousand plus students. And this, this statistics we just uh, approximately uh, captured. Uh, in fact, we got uh, the feedback reports from every school. But almost in one program, we cover uh, nowadays 1,000 students, which are mostly unprivileged school. What motivates the students to do this? Do they get some credits or consideration for the same for the time they are putting into it? <laughs> That's a nice question. Uh, actually, th the thing is that uh, as a staff advisor, as a mentor, I would uh, you know just tell them that uh, look at the photographs and then look at the children, uh, which are uh, say we, we we show them the photographs, we share the experience of those volunteers we who, who have. Had been. What is the follow-up action? How did the school children visited took up further action? Okay, so uh, in this regard, we be in touch with the school headmaster and then we make call to them and ask them whether they, I mean, uh, do they have any, uh, say, more inputs? They, if they want any more inputs, then you contact us and we'll give it, we'll, we'll be in touch with you. In fact, nowadays we started uh, sharing uh, CDs and DVDs with them. And uh, we also looking for uh, one website so that the college teachers would be in touch with us. We'll be having, say, dynamic kind of website uh, so that any queries and uh, those kind of questions will be uh, solved by us. So uh, Nikhil is now sharing the uh, user interface of that website. Is it is it online, sir? What is the link? Uh, right now, it is not uh, uh, online. Okay. And, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. We'll be soon delivering, uh, putting it online in the f future. Sure. future. It, do send me the link when you put it. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. I will also add it to our blog. Yeah, it will be great. So 
should you help them visiting the sites like tryengineering.org, tryscience.org, trycomputing.org? Uh, in fact, uh, the, the scene is very say, different over there uh, because this this students even though in the schools are so backward, no, even they do not know like internet, the more details about this and all. They hardly have say one computer in their in their school. So also our plan is to uh, say donate some computers. We are taking, we are asking for the help from our alumni, and then we'll be uh, we are trying to give them, donate them a computer with internet connection. And then in the future, as this is a good suggestion for us, so we'll be sharing some useful links and uh, say sites which will which will make more uh, say uh, aware about the future and IT awareness to them. Oh, now the attendee is asking if uh, you will be able to share the slides with them. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. It will be, yeah, it will be, it will be great. And if uh, we appeal to them, if somebody takes similar kind of activity at their respective place, so that will be done. So we'll be done with this in this kind of you know webinar with that. Thank you. Sir. You can send it to me. I will forward to them, sir. Sure, sure, sure. So definitely. Similar to IUC webinars, you may also take up launching such programs to benefit school children. National Knowledge Network would be great support here. Okay. And so we'll be happy to collaborate. I mean, and uh, we'll be happy to collaborate with that. And then we'll, we can take uh, the, your program combined with, uh, say, our program, and we can reach out, say, more unprivileged uh, school. Well, thank you very much, sir. Many of the attendees are also saying it's a great initiative and thanking you for it. Yeah, yeah it was great. And uh, a special thank to Sridhar, you, I mean, Sridhar, then uh, Krishna Vedula, and uh, entire team of your IUC. You people are doing wonderful things for uh, engineer, say, uh, say uh, teaching and uh, education community. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nikhil. Thank you.